Oh boy. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great hump day tomorrow. It's, it's downhill from here on out. It's downhill. Tomorrow night, we got the Washington Commanders away versus the Chicago Bears. And talking to my stat technician, or my stat master, stat master, Brother Roz, basically said that if the Commanders can't beat the Bears, that it's really going to get bad. And I'm kind of like, you already got the coach throwing the, the quarterback that he picked up under the bus. How much worse can it get? How much uh, you you got Congress investigating the owner? H how much worse can it get for the Washington Commanders than this? I mean, seriously, listening to their radio stations, man, they are killing them. The fans want blood. Rio is like, I hate this team. I hate this team. Yeah, I mean, it's just bad. It, it's it's bad. I feel bad for real. I really do feel bad for real. But anyway. That's not my problem. The Bermuda Triangle, when it comes to quarterbacks, Washington is not my problem. My problem is the Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys. Um, some good news. Micah Parsons says there is no chance in hell that he's missing this game. He's going to be good to go. Former Eagle Jason Peters I was surprised that he was at practice today. He says he's good for this week and literally called the fans idiots. Jerry Jones called out those fans as well. So I, I, I saw a post out there that was literally said, we want Dallas from the Eagles. Not Washington. Washington said they wanted we want Dallas. You, you heard their new <laughs> song there. Didn't work out too good for them. So now we got the Eagles that say, we want Dallas. I am not going to deny that the Eagles are a good team. I'm not going to deny that. The Eagles went out. They got themselves players in places of need. A.J. Brown has been a beast. Jalen Hurts, I don't know who worked with him this summer, but he is truly a much better quarterback. Their coach, Nick Seriani, as, as Philly 500 says, Paizo, 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 or Paizo, or whatever. You know, uh, I hope he doesn't, or actually, I hope he does, wears the Beat Dallas shirt this week. But he's done a good job with that team. That team is young, it's strong. They got playmakers on offense, they got playmakers on defense of line. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox can still, still get it done. But we got playmakers, too. A lot of them. This game is going to come down to, literally, who wants it more. The funny thing about football, where we have parity, okay? And I, I had this conversation with Brother Roz. Eagle fans believe that their team is a juggernaut. That their team literally cannot be beat. That's the way that they act. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, my Cowboys, now that they won four in a row, can't be beat. Because on any given Sunday, I don't believe that the New York Giants are better than the Green Bay Packers. Maybe they are. Maybe the Green Bay Packers are, are not as good as we really think. I don't know. I don't know. But from one week to the next, I'm sitting here thinking, the Detroit Lions scored, lost the game 38-35 to the Eagles. But then they lost, what, 22 to nothing against um, New England? Huh? 
the Colts, which were terrible, beat Kansas City and then follows it up by going to Denver and winning in high altitude and winning the, the ugliest game known to mankind? I don't I just I just don't know right now. And this is exactly what the NFL wants. They want parity. The Eagles are good. They are good. But there's a lot of teams right now that are good. I don't think that there's a great team, at least not yet. And this game is gonna be like the 49ers and Cowboys game. The 49ers came in there, and they act like we don't give up, you know, an F. They let it all hang out. They had no worries, and they wanted it more than we did. That's what this game's going to come down to. Who's going to get punched in the mouth, and that blood's going to start dripping, They lick it and keep going. The Eagles have the advantage. They're playing at home. Five game win streak. All the new pieces. We still have a rookie left tackle. We still have issues at left guard. We still just got back Michael Gallup two weeks ago from injury. C.D. Lamb is a dropping machine. Cooper Rush is still a backup quarterback. The Eagles, five and a half point favorites. Cowboys, well, we're just lucky we can go there and compete. At least that's what the experts say. But the funny thing about this football is, you never know which way it's going to bounce. You just don't. It's already week six, guys. Can you believe that? The leaves are already falling. The temperature's getting cold. And before we know it, the season will be over with. So the thing you got to do now you got to enjoy it while you can. Before you know it, it'll be done. And let me say, let me say to all of you wonderful people out there, you, 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 and you, and you, and by the way, Dak Prescott didn't have a brace on his hand, and he was gripping the football. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if all week they told us that Dak Prescott wasn't going to play, and then come Friday they list him as doubtful, and then he comes in on Sunday and lights up the Eagles, hmm, hmm, it's an interesting thought there. Now that would be a, a Jedi mind trick there. That would be hilarious if that happened. <laughs> okay. Shh. Keep that to yourself. Have a great night, everybody. And remember, tell the people you love, you love them. Because you might not get the chance again. And I love you guys. Peace out.